Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Angie's Story Time. Well, yeah. So the story I want to share this time is the other time where I thought I almost got fired by McKinsey. I think that was probably my second or third project. I was with the EM on the team. We had a really good relationship. We were almost like friends. You know, we joke around a lot.、Um, it was a quite a nice team environment. And then I remember one day after a day of super long meetings, it was already eight o'clock. We got back to the hotel, but because we still had a problem-solving meeting with a partner the next day, so the EM was telling me that, hey, you know, in order to prepare for the meeting tomorrow, this is what you need to do tonight. To be honest, I was really exhausted that night. I don't know if you experienced the same before, where you were so sleep deprived, where my brain was literally not working. At the time, I really wanted to go to sleep, and I was reasoning, well, you know, the EM and I, we have a really good relationship. So even if I didn't do well on this assignment, it will probably be okay. I mean, we're friends, right? He's gonna help me out tomorrow. The next day during our check-in, my EM was asking, you know, where was the stuff that I asked you to prepare last night? So I pulled it out, and then my EM looked at what I had prepared, and he got super serious. He said, "This is not what I had expected out of you. I trusted you. It not only reflected badly on you, it also reflected badly on me as well as your EM. I am extremely disappointed." Extremely disappointed. <laughs> While he was saying that, I was in full panic mode. I was scared and guilty, guilty because I felt like I failed him. He had so much trust, but I was lazy. I didn't complete what he has asked, and I didn't communicate that on time. I was super scared because it felt like it was the end of the world. Like I was certain that I was gonna get fired after that meeting. So, anyways, we just sat there all morning and tried to finish as much as we could. And then lunchtime rolled around. The EM was asking what I wanted to eat, and I said, "Oh, I don't, I don't feel anything. I didn't have an appetite." He noticed that I was in a little bit of a depressive mood, so he started asking, "You know, what's going on?" I was crying to him. I was like, "I was, I was asking, are you gonna fire me after this?" And he was laughing. He was like, "Oh my God, I can't believe that you're afraid that I was gonna fire you. That is not going to happen. You are new. Obviously, you're gonna make a lot of mistakes." So as an EM, my job is to teach you, to help you get through those hurdles and help you learn. So don't worry. Like I am certainly not going to fire you over this. After hearing that, I was so relieved and I felt really heartwarming to hear all of that.、Um, long story short, that project went really well. Probably one of my favorite project out of my McKinsey career because I've learned so much. From that EM, and I think I really owe a lot of you know who I am today to him、um, for sure. So, what have I learned from that experience?、Uh, number one, it is super important to separate the personal friendship from the professional relationship. Yes, it is true that you know you can be friends with your line managers, with your colleagues, but when it comes to working or deliverables, you have to keep it strictly professional. The mistake I made was that I thought you know because of our personal relationship、I、could slack off and he wouldn't you know be mad at me, but that was extremely inconsiderate of me, and it not only jeopardized my professional career, it also jeopardized his. Second piece is that the regular communications between you and your line manager is extremely important, and do not fail his trust. I feel like for a lot of people who are new to this whole professional world, we have to prove ourselves. So a lot of times, you know, even if we encounter problems, even if there are things that we don't understand, we tend to try to figure it out ourselves without asking for help. The disadvantage of that is if you don't ask for help, if you don't speak up, then your team or your manager is going to assume that you've got it under control. But then, when the deadline approaches and they realize it was not the case, not only will you jeopardize the whole、uh, project progress, you will also essentially fail their trust. So it's super important to keep the communications open and ask help whenever you need to. And the third piece is that I I would love to be an excellent mentor and manager, and I realized that having that person earlier on in your career who is willing to give you a space to learn and to grow, but at the same time when you make mistakes, instead of throwing under the bus, he'll be the one you know be there and helping you、uh, and protect you. That is extremely extremely important and can really change lives. So I want to be a manager and mentor like him. 
Anyways, that is the story time for today and I'll see you next time. Bye.